Hey everyone, what's going on? Nathan343 here, and, and this is the Global Trust GT Plasma MT12 for 42 to 60 inch LCD Plasma TV hanging bar. And we're going to talk about that. This video is made possible by 343 Studios. So, we've got this cool looking truss mount bar from Global Trust. It's got the really cool looking uh, heavy duty clamps on the back that say Global Trust. The new little wing nut things they've got on there. It is bolted to the front. And you can use this to hang a TV. It also comes with two little uh, other smaller O clamps to clamp to this, and then you clamp it to your uh, TV bracket if you wanted to mount a TV to your truss as like right here but what's really cool about these if you guys are not running TVs if you always are thinking man I just want to be able to hang more lights on my vertical truss you know, I've got a moving head or I've got a disco ball or I've got maybe J Stinger or I've got you know something else up there but I want some more lighting up here or in this area Bolt this onto your truss, just like you would for hanging a TV, and you can hang lights from this. So that's really cool, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, we're gonna do a little unboxing here. If you order one, this is probably how it's gonna come. In a box like this, okay? If you order two, there'll be two or three or four, however many, there'll basically be a bunch of boxes and they'll be taped together with one track. So, Inside the box, the only thing in there is the tube. There's no like padding or any bubble wrap, which I would have loved to have seen. And then it comes out like so, and uh, no instructions, no order no papers, no nothing. So here it is. So it comes with the really heavy duty Global Trust clamps that bolt to uh, the center, and they are centered. I've done measured everything, they're centered. And we're going to do a little bit of talking close up too on these because these are the new uh, O clamps from uh, Global Truss. And they kind of did their wing nut a little different, and I like it. So, I'm going to show you this here. This is the new Global Truss. If you can read that, it's fake. But look at the wing nut. It's like a, uh, it's different. And I like it. You can grip it better. So if you do not use this for a TV, like I'm not going to be using it for, well, maybe eventually, but not right now, you basically get, if you buy two or one of these, you get two extra cool O clamps. Will they connect? Are they the same size and connect to regular trusses? Yes, they are. And they're the really, really good oak clamps too. Global Trust makes some really good oak clamps on here. So, exact same pipe and steel as the truss, so it's gonna blend right in real good. We're gonna go ahead, open this guy up, open it all the way up, both, both deals here. Wing nuts need to be opened pretty far back. So we're gonna go ahead. We are going to go like this. Put this on and I'm going to stick it on a little bit right here for now. We put Back lighting on here, you can put park hands on here, you can put uh, lasers on here, fog machines on here, or you could do what I'm gonna do, put a moving head on here. So, go ahead, 260. Now with these cool new O clamps, I'm gonna be probably taking these and switching them with the O clamps and things kick the bar here. Is there, I like the wing up on there a little better. So, Go ahead, just so you guys can see. You can bring it out just a little bit. To spread the width of it. Go 
there you've got a cool moving head on your deal. Now you could also run a moving head on top and you can mount another one here. You can even mount a light here in the center if you wanted to uh, or another moving head or, or something to do there. You could put, I, I think it looks good with two. I'll show you what the other one looks like here. Um, I'm going to go grab the other one real quick and we'll uh, show you what that looks like here and probably run it over here to your truss or something. But again, these, these, these O clamps do not let go. I'm going to go ahead and spin that back around. But look at how cool that looks. Of course, for a smaller setup, like if I was going to be in a room, which I'm going to be using probably this setup for a class reunion I'm going to be doing, uh, I would probably run this bar up a little higher, maybe you know, up in up in this area where these are not hanging down so low. But uh, yeah, they look cool. You could run your, your power cord across here. You could put a wire tie here, wire cable tie here. Run it down, run it over to your plugs, or you could run it, you know, up and across and over, or however you want to do. It. If you put your power supply inside, or however you do that. Uh, so yeah, I think it's really cool. Of course, that, that moving head's out just a little bit more, but I'll give you a little close up here of how it looks with some moving heads on it. Now, I'm in the process of getting two more of these, uh, so I will have two totem setups like this with two movers, and then I'll do my uh, stinger thing on top uh, with the deal, um, and then there'll be a, a park hand light in there. So, that looks really cool. Link in the description, guys. Go check this thing out. You can use it uh, for just about anything you want. It would be kind of cool if they made, you know, something that this was. These clamps were welded to this, you know, so you didn't have this bolt sticking out. Which I mean, looks okay, but I mean, if you got a TV on there, you won't see it. Uh, but for people that want to use these to hang lights, looks pretty cool. Especially if you put a mover on top, which I can demonstrate what that would look like if you have three movers. This is what it looks like if you have three movers on there, and that's still a cool little setup. Two movers hanging off there like so, and uh, of course your big, that is a 100 watt shed sitting up there. You could also run an Intimidator 360 and you could tie all these together, have them doing stuff. You could set, you know, reverse pan and tilt on these. You could have that one doing something with the, like the other one on your other totem. Really cool, but uh, yeah, we're gonna get two more 260s, uh, and I think that's gonna be probably my one of my setups that's gonna be probably for smaller weddings. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's really cool, and uh, I like it. Anyway, go check it out, link in the description. Don't forget to. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for all your awesome, lovely comments. We'll see you in the next one. Hey!